Value City Arena on the campus of the world famous Ohio State University where tonight the number one team in the nation comes to the town. The Purdue Boilermakers are ready to take on 24th ranked Ohio State. Smith inside. There's a big fella. And, oh, and, Jack. and Zed Key. Right now, Purdue shooting 22% from the field. Ohio State has made their last four field goals. Make it five. Sets a ball again. Bryce sets a ball from Orlando, Florida. At 6'6", six, six, he's able to negotiate his way down to the baseline and watch him put his shoulder right into the chest. Lawyer turns a corner. Loose. Thornton ahead. Sets the ball. One catch. Right Count it in the box. He's a freshman, folks. But he's got all the right moves. Ohio State doing a great job of staying true to their scouting report defensively, being active, and then once again out on the break and sends the ball with a little trickery right here. Now sends the ball across the lane. Another shot. New shot clock for Purdue. Smith, the kick. Morton rising fire and it rims off the rebound and the stick back. And to go in and get retaped. Sense of ball. Mm. Mid range. And it's good. Woo. He's got a power on his back. Draws a double team. And that jump shot goes down for David Jenkins Jr. Eight rebounds for Edie. Gillis. And it's Mason Gillis. Now Thornton almost had his pocket pick, and he does. Smith, great hands, gets it back, rises, and buries it. Closing in on a minute. Deep in the corner. And the answer right there for Eugene Brown. Threes, he knows that his bread is buttered on the inside. So why not perfect it by working on that skill? Meanwhile, Mason Gillis. Buries a three, and Purdue has its largest lead of the game now. Restored freshman, step back three. Back. And that's outstanding recognition because Thornton could have very easy try to over dribble and penetrate. Young man from Honolulu, Hawaii. Nice catch, Edie inside. Left hand off. The glass it in. Do you think at halftime? They lob it to him. Draws a double. Good passer out of the double team. Smith deep in the corner. Kill. Braden Smith, smallest man on the floor with the rebound. He's been wonderful. Meanwhile, Royer finally steps into a jump shot and buries it. Smith with the rebound. The lob. <laughs> oh, 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 good play. Whoa. And a block. Fifteen points for Bryce Sensible. Two-point lead now for Purdue. Well, a lot of action on the offensive end. Purdue hitting the offensive glass, not able to capitalize. Oparo with the block and then in transition. This is where Ohio State in the first half was able to make a separation, was getting the defensive stop, getting it up quickly. Thornton got his man in the air, sets his puppies. Short. <laughs> Who's that? Sets the ball. The game high, 17. In and out dribble. Gets to his spot off the window softly. And yes. But smart play. Why Zach Eady is not. First quick turn. Kicks it out. Jenkins. Oh. Mm -mm. Big time jump shot. Both teams going on big time runs. 
sets the ball. A power right jump. He had the ball in his hands a lot. McNeil, pull up jumper, 20 foot. Six team fouls against Ohio State. Lawyer, they need it and they get it. Sensible, there he is. Hard drive with the left hand, pulls up and buries it. He's a freshman, folks. Look at its side, McNeil. Ten to shoot. McNeil, seven to shoot. Top of the arc. for this play look he wants to get it inside but then Opara came up just enough of his body to get on lawyer to clear enough space and we know McNeil is not afraid of the moment of 37 three percent three-point shooter able to knock in a big-time shot big-time shot for Sean McNeil And Ohio State, Lawyer on the court. Edie backing up on a power jump hook across the lane, and it goes down. And a timeout called by Purdue. Thornton, the inbounder, finds Suing. And a steal, Morton. Shot clock turned off, game clock at 20. They kick it to Smith. And a timeout, Purdue with 17.5 to go. Wow. And guess where did the ball get inbounded? In the corner. And, and you give yourself, you don't give yourself a chance. You know why? Right there, now the sideline becomes a secondary defender. And I told you, you think that you might get fouled, but you don't, and then you anticipate not the rotation that time by Morton suing, not patient. Here's Sensiball back to Thornton. Thornton looking for Sensiball on top of the yard. Has it knocked away? He's got to let it go. And no good. And Purdue comes back and wins a big one on the road here in Columbus. 71 to 69.